Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Dennis Hobson. How are you, sir? You look very well, Dennis. Hanging in there, Coog. Hanging in there, pal. Strange times, pal, but um, always good to hear from you. Absolutely. Let's talk um, about your show. Well, I suppose when, when people first heard about it, they were... Uh, well, I don't know what the word is really. It's just, it's very uh, it's ambitious and obviously it's a little bit of something we're not used to. But um, yeah, basically a brawl in a car park is a bit more to it than that. Obviously, a lot of work's going into putting it on. But talk to me about this first of all, Dennis. Well, you've met Miss Shell, who's my secretary, aren't you? My PA, Miss Money Penny. Yes, I believe so. Yes. So um, she was going to her, uh, a driving theatre the other week. So um, my ears propped, propped up and I said, uh, send me some photographs. Um, I think she was thinking I wanted to, some photographs of the film. And I said, just send me some photographs, Daddy, it's all set out. And I just thought, why can't I replace the big screen by having a big ring uh, in the middle and let's have a drive in. And, um, and it went from there really. And, uh, and the, the, the support and positiveness that we've had uh, to, to help make it happen has been brilliant. The boxing board have been brilliant um, and it's been like more of a can-do because sometimes you know what it's like when you're dealing with the bureaucracies. They, they're saying, oh, why, why do you want to do this and why do you want to do that? I've had none of that. Um, and obviously we've got a smashing fight at the top of the bill. So it's something that we're doing which is different and we needed a good top of the bill to, 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 to showcase what, we, what we're trying to deliver. Uh, I've got a smashing partner in Steve Crump. Um, his company sponsors a lot of our, our shows, and uh, and we've got a bit between his teeth. And um, I'm looking forward to it, Coogan. And like you say, a, a lot of people are talking about it, and um, we've got a smashing bill on there. Jason McClory's just joined us. He's been doing all the matching for the for the bill. It's going to be a nine fight card. Kelly Malone has got a uh, one of her girls on, who she manages. And, um, you know, I mean, you've been at the big fights, Coogan, obviously. And um, probably a little bit before your time is when I can remember being, you know, seeing the fights coming back from Caesars Palace car park. Now, Sheffield Arena car park probably doesn't have the same ring, but it's got the same principle. It's going to be a bit different climate-wise, but, you know, people's got their eaters on in the car. We've got a big canopy on in there. And unless we've got a snow blizzard, which touch wood we don't get these days, um, we're going to be fine. And uh, like I said, the, the, the main event is a cracking fight. So, Dennis, you've had to obviously uh, put back the show uh, by about three or four weeks uh, to December the 11th. That's right, pal. So, as in regards to the ball, did they have any concerns about you doing this outdoors in a car park? None at all. They've been, to be fair, they've been fantastic, so supportive. And obviously, as you, as you know, I've been a promoter for um, how many years? Nearly 30 years, cool. And um, these, they've been so supportive. And, I, I've, and I've, had, I've had my own odd skirmish with the board, like most promoters but they've been so supportive and positive and uh, I think it's just that we're in strange times, Coogan, as we're all in it together. Um, we're all going through this getting peed off and people negativity and people struggling with mental health and, and just to try and create something in the middle of something that's surrounding us as regards to negativity that's surrounding us besides the virus. Um, this is a bit of positivity that gets maybe people being able to come to a live event because you're a football fan, I'm a big football fan and I'm watching the, I'm watching the football and it's not the same, Coogan, is it? It's, it's just not the same. Um, and I think it, this underlines how the supporters are took for granted. And, um, 
And there's nothing like being at a big fight. You'll know that, Cooley. That's, that's the reason why you got in boxing. And that's probably the reason why I did. But um, I've got two big screens that's going to be there. So if anybody's got, like, distorted view or whatever, you know, you know what it's like. Sometimes you've got to be the big fights and you might not be that far away from the ring, but you sometimes look up at the screen to see which shots are landed. So we, we're trying to cater for everything. And I think what you'll see, and over what, hopefully what comes over on Eurosport, you'll see a quality event with a bit of polish to it. How many cars can you actually have there on, like, where, like the bit where the ring is, how many cars can you have physically watching? Um, well, we've just gone for a... Because all we've got, cool, and we've just been given... Uh, I've just had the car park at the Sheffield Arena. So what we've been given is, is just the car park. So we've got to create our own arena. Yeah. We've got all our expense, which is covering it all. We've got uh, generators, we've got marquees. And we've, we've, been, we've imported these little bubbles for the VIPs. So on one end, just on one end, there's going to be some VIP bubbles for us, for us sponsors and things like that. Then three, round the three sides will be, um, be the cars. Now, we've applied for a TENS license, which only allows you to have 500 people in at one time. So what we're doing, we're saying that four people to a car maximum. And uh, so we'll probably get about 120 cars in. We didn't want to go for too many because what we're trying to do here is uh, create a blueprint. Because if this virus doesn't go away, and hopefully it goes away sooner rather than later once we roll this vaccine out, but for the next six months or so, I think I can see us doing a few, a few of these shows. And, uh, you know, I've got people like my good friend Mark Bateson who's interested in co-promoting one, uh, one of these events. I've got a smashing health and safety team in Guy Naylor and Pat Smith who's put the whole event together and watched his backsides with the local government. So I haven't had to go knocking... Uh, capping on to the local council to say, am I allowed to do this? I've got the people who's already got these relationships with these local councils there. They've, they've pushed on open doors, so, so to speak, for us. So we've got everything covered. Obviously, the health and safety of the people involved is paramount. Um, and we've adhered to it all. So it is quite a, a quite a, uh, momen momen what's the word? Momentum. Momentous, momentous, momentous event to put together, but it's like you know me, Coogan. I've, I'm, I've, I have a pop, don't I? I'm a, I'm a gambler. My dad was a compulsive gambler, but it's a calculated gamble. And I'm a fan. I've still got a passion for the game. And we come up with this new concept, and it's got like, like I keep saying, a lot of positivity back in us. And I'm looking forward to it. And it's given me as big a buzz, probably, as any big fight I've ever been involved in. Dennis, when the cars pull up, have the people inside the cars got to be from the same household? Yes, they're in, from the same bubble. From the same bubble or support group, yeah, I get that. Yes. Yeah. So we, we, we're setting down that criteria. Uh, the, um, the VIPs are allowed to have alcohol because they're having a meal. The cars aren't. So, but we'll be serving food. Um, so it's just, that's what I'm saying. That's the reason why we kept it down to 500 people because I just didn't want to overdo it and try and get 2,000 people in there. And then there's more chance of things going wrong. Um, the, the, all the kids who was on the bill, on the left-hand side of the bill, they've had a certain amount of cars that they can have. So it's just their family and, and bubble, like you say, family bubble, who are allowed to come. And um, and then uh, they're going to get a chance to see some live, uh, some live sport, and it's it's great to be involved in it. And um, hopefully, it's a, it's the start of a few. Dennis, when when the cars pull up as well, they're not allowed to leave the car, are they, for any reason? No, only for a loop. Oh, only for a leak. Yes, to use the toilet. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it's the way, it's the only way, Coogan, that we can create this event um, by adhering to, you know, the legislation put down by the government. So we're doing that. And uh, if anybody wants to be there, if people don't, if people say, oh, I want to be able to get out of the car or whatever, then obviously they don't come. But um, 
they, they, they do want to come. People do want to come. And like I say, we've got limited amount of spaces there. So, um, and if this goes off well, we might go for a bigger license where we can get maybe um, a thousand people there or two thousand people there. That's the plan. Mm. Well, look, it's very ambitious, and it seems like you've got every uh, kind of box ticked to obviously make it go ahead. So, I hope it does work out. It's, <laughs> it sounds a crazy idea, but it's kind of in keeping with you. There's a compliment there, Dennis, somewhere. But it seems like this is the sort of thing that you would actually come out with and do, and which you are doing. So, mm -hmm. play to you. I mean, at the end of the day, Coogan, <clears throat> there's, the, there's the sterile area where the, you've got, you know, like you, you're involved with a lot of these big shows where you're at, what, when you go to these big shows. And it's, it's the same, Coogan, but outside that sterile area is going to be these VIP pods, what we've got, and the cars. So all we're doing is keeping that sterile area. I won't, I won't be going in that sterile area because um, I've, I've got too many things to see to, so I'm not going to isolate for the two days. So I'll, I'll be outside that sterile area. Uh, but outside that sterile area, area, like I said, will be the cars. And we've got a big screen. So it's a, it's a novelty, but, you know, we're adhering to everything that's been set down by the, the government. So it's, uh, you know, I think you're going to be impressed, Corwin, and I think you'll start to have a bit even more respect for me. I'm going to pull it off. Yeah, listen, I know you can pull this off, absolutely. Um, let's talk about the main event. Uh, Tommy, Frank and Carl Youssef for the vacant British flight. Great fight, great fight, Dennis. Yeah, um, it's probably a fight what um, in, normal, in, normal, in a normal environment, I probably wouldn't have done straight away. I'd probably waited to see if I could have got hold of the... Because Tommy were in line to fight for an IBO world title against uh, Maximo Flores and uh, I thought well if I can get hold of a world title some great matchups domestically you've got Sonny Edwards Kyle Yusuf you've got um, Arvion uh, uh, who's the other one uh, Jairis or whatever anyway there's quite a few kids at that weight category and I thought if I can make it for a world title then when I seen that the British title was available Tommy's always wanted to fight for the British title uh, like most um, British boxers want to, want to. Kyle was in the mandatory position as well. So it was just a natural. And I said, look, the only opportunity I can get for you both is, um, is, is to fight for a British title on a, on a different event that we're trying to create. Are you both up for it? Um, obviously, Tom is with me anyway. And I got in touch with Kyle Yusuf's people who I've worked with in the past. Um, and uh, they were saying, how are you going to make it work, Dennis? Because, uh, you know, what, what's the offer going to be? And I said, don't worry about the offer. I'm going to make you an offer. If, I, if the offer's right, will you fight? That's all I want to know. And uh, they said yes. So that's how, how we made it happen. To your knowledge, Dennis, has this been done in this country before? No, never. No. No. Okay. I, I don't I, remember it being happening, but... I, I well, think like we What's that? We like a bit of history making. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, is uh, Cash Alley still on the bill? Absolutely. He's, uh, he's going to be the dog destroyer soon. We're going to let him off the leash and then you'll see a new Cash Alley. He's, he's a top lad. He's a top lad. He's got, he's got deceptive ability. And you know the one I want to call out? We've Go got on. to put the record straight. And it's pantomime season as well. So Cash can play the bad guy. I don't mind that. Go he's on. David Price. Let's get yeah. it on. Let's get it on. Let's put the record straight. And Price, who I get on really well with. I mean, all the scouts is here. Cash Alley now, because they bit their, uh, their, their scouts' son, didn't they? And, and, and they got disqualified for it. But for me... When Cash wasn't at his best, gave Dave Price a lot of problems that day. And uh, obviously, self-destructed by getting involved in a bit of nibbling, um, having, having a bite at uh, David. But um, that fight is a smashing fight, and I think we're going to make that happen. 
hopefully, in the, in the new year. Okay. Um, I, I do want to ask your opinion about, obviously, uh, someone that you uh, are and were very obviously close with Dave Allen, who recently announced his retirement, Dennis, from the sport of boxing. Uh, yeah, could I get a comment from you about that? Um, yeah, I mean, we've, we've had some great um, ambassadors for the sport and, and he's one. So I um, utmost respect. And, um, you know, I mean, characters come and go. You, you, you came along... Not not too long ago, and you made a big splash, didn't you, Coogan? And I thought, who's this wanna be? When I first met you, but you've been fantastic for the sport. Um, and uh, you know, people like you and Danny, they, they, they're hard to find, and um, so like you've got to revere them while 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 they're here. And you know, people like yourself, not just saying it, they make they make the journey in in in, in a. And they're not best industry. It's not the easiest industry, as you know, Coogan. It's not the most pleasant industry to be um, operating in. It's, uh, but when you get characters like yourself, it just lighten, lightens the load a little bit and, uh, and uh, it makes it more enjoyable. And as you know, I live for the big night. And that's, um, you know, you have ups and downs in boxing, but there's nothing like a big fight night. And uh, fortunately, I've had quite a few and, and I've shared it with, with characters like Daniel, like yourself, and uh, and that's why I'm in the sport. As um during this pandemic, this coronavirus situation, how have has your business survived during during these times, Dennis? It's it's um, been very difficult. I've got two or three businesses. I've got the metals business. I'm fortunate. I've got quite a bit of property as well, um, and it's it's been difficult. I've got the I've got an engineering company which, up to the virus coming, were flying, pardon, pardon the pun, assuming. But since the aircraft industry and the oil industry took a nosedive, um, a lot of the businesses fell off the end of the cliff. But it'll come back, Coogan. It'll come back. The world's got to start turning again. We've got to start flying again. We've got to, we've got to start digging for oil again in the world. And that's when that business will start to come back. So I think you just batten down the axes and... I'm probably a little bit more fortunate than most. Uh, I've got a little bit of a cushion, but it's not easy. Um, and, 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 and you know, like when you've got responsibility, probably a, indirectly or directly, 60 or 70 people work for us, uh, you know, you feel responsible for them. So, yeah, this furlough thing has, has, has helped to a, to a degree. It doesn't help the employers, uh, really, because obviously you can't furlough yourself. But... Um, it's, it's not been easy, Coogan, and some, you know, I've got, a, I've got two or three different businesses. The metals is just bubbling along. The engineering just gone flat, but uh, I've got quite a bit of property and, uh, and we, are, we are building as well. So, you know, if one fails, another one will keep us bubbling sort of thing or just ticking over. It's not easy, but we'll be okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. Um, okay, Dennis, um, I will let you get on with your night unless you have anything else to add and we'll catch up a little bit nearer the date again, um, nearer December the 11th. All right, Pam. I look forward to it, always. Okay. Have you got anything else you want to add? No, no, I'm just um, pleased that you've uh, called me to give us a bit of support. Um, I'm so pleased how well you're doing. Uh, you're, um, you've got a lot of followers now, so um, but very shortly I'm, I'm going to roll something out to you. What you be, what's exciting for us? So I'm not standing still. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm going to leave you with it. I'm not standing still, Kilgan. And uh, we've got some other interesting, exciting things in the pipeline. And uh, I want your endorsement in the next couple of months uh, when I roll it all out. Yeah. Not, not, not a problem, Dennis. Not a problem. I'll have a glass of sparkling water to that. <laughs> Dennis Hobson, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And like I said, we'll definitely catch up with you ahead uh, of your show December 11th. Well, then, always a pleasure. Love to you and your family, pal. Thank you very much, Dennis. 
Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.